We're just 400 miles away from a champion. Hi, I'm Amber Wilson, and welcome to the BF Goodrich NASCAR Report here on CBSSports.com. Jimmy Johnson finds himself in familiar territory heading into the final Nextel Cup Series race at Homestead this weekend. The 48 car had a 63-point lead heading into the Ford 400 in 2006, and a ninth-place finish was more than enough to finish ahead of runner-up Matt Kenseth. Johnson may be facing a much more challenging driver in Jeff Gordon, but he has an even bigger cushion than he did last year, which led his teammate to basically concede the chase earlier this week. Lately, the two drivers have been going in different directions. Jeff Gordon took a back-to-back -back checkered flag at Talladega and Lowe's in October and showed all signs of momentum as he took the pole at Martinsville. But from there, it was all Jimmy Johnson. From avoiding 21 different incidents at short track Martinsville to grabbing a late lead at Phoenix last week, the 48 car has found a way to reach victory lane over the past four weeks. With an 86-point lead over Gordon heading into the Ford 400 at Homestead Miami Speedway, Johnson doesn't have to do much to get the job done. With a couple of laps in the lead and a finish in the middle of the pack, the 48 car can bring home NASCAR's top prize in back-to-back -back years, the first time that has been done since Jeff Gordon did it in 1997 and 1998. After joining us all season from the Windy City, our very own NASCAR expert, Pete Pistoni, joins us in studio today. So, Pete, let's get right into it. We've talked all season about what Jimmy Johnson has to do to win the Cup, and even last week his own Hendrick teammate conceded the title to him. I mean, is this a little bit premature? Is this thing pretty much wrapped up at this point? Yeah, I think it's over, Amber. I do. I mean, 86 points is a very big deficit for anyone to overcome. History has uh, shown us that no one's overcome a deficit of more than 30. So I do think it's over. Even if Jeff Gordon wins the race and leads all the laps, he will only have to finish 18th or better for Jimmy Johnson to win the title. So, yeah, I think it's pretty much done. Okay, and with Chad now knowing what he has to do to get his driver to win the chase here, and what's their approach going to be this week? I mean, is Johnson going to take it easy, or is he going to be really aggressive? I think he'll be really aggressive. I mean, that's, so. that's how he's been. You know, the one thing about Jimmy during this chase is he's shown us that he wants to go out and win races. He's won four in a row. Uh, if he wins this week, that's five in a row. Nobody's done that since Richard Petty back in 1971. And he told us last week in Phoenix, He's no good at playing defense. He likes to play offense. So I expect him to try to go out this weekend and make a slam dunk, take the win and the championship. And with the other drivers out of the chase, now they're just racing for pride. Who do you expect else other than Jimmy Johnson, of course, to make a splash this weekend? Well, two guys that I think about. Greg Biffle's one of them. Biffle has won the last three races at Homestead Miami Speedway. He finished second last week in Phoenix. He would love to go out with four in a row at Homestead. And Dale Earnhardt Jr., final race, the end of an era, the Budweiser number eight. He'll never be in that car again. He would love to go out in his DEI career with a victory on Sunday. Okay. As the season comes to a close now, let's talk about next season. What do you see on the horizon? Well, the big story, I think there's going to be two big stories next year, Amber. One is Dale Jr. going to Hendrick Motorsports, and they've already called Hendrick Motorsports the Beatles of NASCAR next year. You've got Jeff Gordon, Jimmy Johnson, now Dale Earnhardt Jr., so poor Casey Mears is stuck being Ringo Starr. But that's going to be, I think, a big story. And then the open wheel contingent. Uh, we've seen what Juan Pablo Montoya has done this year. Next year, you're going to have Dario Franchitti, an Indy 500 winner, Sam Hornish Jr., Jacques Villeneuve. So we'll see how these open wheel guys do next year in the world of NASCAR. I think it's going to be a fun season. All right, looking forward to it. It's nice to finally have you live and in person here in the studio. Pete. Yeah. Thanks for joining us. That'll do it for us for now. Keep your mouse right here, cbssports.com, for everything you need to know in the world of sports. And if you missed anything here today, you better stop, refresh, and rewatch. For Pete Stoney, I'm Amber Wilson. Have a great one.